Hi all, I have a very interesting historical game to show you today. Ladislas Mercouzi was playing against Collish. This is in Paris, 1864. Let's have a look at this very interesting little game. E4, E5, knight f3, knight c6. We have the Scotch game. Now after knight takes d4, quite popular moves include bishop c5, knight f6, the check or queen f6. But also, it is quite... Uh, it is also played a lot to play queen h4 hitting this pawn white protects it and now bishop b4 kind of renews that threat on the pawn by pinning the knight and usually white's two main moves are considered bishop e2 and knight b5 an alternative was played in this game a bit rarer queen d3 supporting that e pawn knight f6 kind of renewing that uh, pressure knight takes c6 d takes bishop d2 bishop takes c3 black volunteers that bishop and now it's probably unwise to play queen takes e4 check because white emerges a little bit better here black's pawns are fragmented white has the bishop pair so black played knight takes e4 and we have a nice move queen d4 which pins the knight clearly Protects f2 as well, quite critically. So quite a clever move, queen d4. Uh, now black played queen e7, white castled queenside. Perhaps black's best move here might be knight takes here. So even if queen takes g7, we have this, this line where actually black should be okay and looking forward to castling. Queen side, black might even be slightly better. In the game, we have check. Now, perhaps this was in the expectation white would routine the uh, castle here, but he played actually f4. Yeah, white played f4. Very interesting move. Queen takes f4, check. And now, with this pin renewed, we have the move bishop d2. What is white up to here? Queen g4? What is white up to? Can you guess what white plays in this position? Which is a really, really good crushing move. I'll give you five seconds. You might want to use that five seconds to pause the video and analyze position as long as you want. So I hope you can find it. White's play. There's a really crushing move in this position. Five seconds starting from now. Okay. Queen d8 check. Yeah, there's no options for black other than to take. Then we lead into this dread, dreaded, the dreaded double check, which usually forces the opponent's king to move because neither of the, it, although one of the checks could be blocked, the, you've got the other check. So usually it's really, really a forcing move, a double check. And it's a discover check as well from the rook. And here black has to resign, actually, because on king e8, rook d8 is checkmate. We have an opera mate. It's actually been classified by wiki as an opera mate when you mate like the opera game. Yeah, so pretty nice uh, end to the game there. Queen d8 check for bishop g5 check. Quite abrupt finish. I think you'll agree. A neat one. Hope you enjoyed that little game. Comments, questions, likes, shares appreciated. Thanks very much.